Welcome. In the last video we created the Spring Boot project and installed the Elasticsearch. In this video, we will be creating a POST API that will insert the data into the Elasticsearch cluster. First go to SRC and inside your package create a folder called Entity. Create another folder named Repository. Similarly, create three more folders, Controller, Service, and DTO. Now let's start by creating our entity. In the entity package, create a class called product. The data which we create for this class will be inserted into Elasticsearch. Let's create some fields here. First would be the ID, which will act as the primary key. Second I would add the name of the product. And last I will add the price of the product. Now, let's add some Lombok annotations which will create some getters, setters and constructors for this class. Next we'll add an important annotation of Elasticsearch which is the document annotation. With this annotation, the Spring Data Elasticsearch identifies that this is the class that needs to be persisted in the Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch will create an index for this class, whose name we can specify by adding the index name argument. I'm keeping it same as the class name that is, product. Now, let's create a repository for this entity. I'll name it as product repository. This will be an interface that will extend the Elasticsearch repository interface of type product and string as the primary key. And let me specify the primary key by adding the id annotation here. I'll also add the repository annotation here. Now let's create the product controller where we define our endpoints. I'll the rest controller annotation here. I'll also add the request mapping annotation to define the endpoint for this controller. Since we are creating a POST request so I'll create POST mapping here. I'll add the endpoint as add since we'll be adding the product data here. Now I'll just create the public method here with return type as response entity and method is add product. Now I'll create a request DTO which will be used as the request body. I'll name it as product DTO. Here I'll add the same fields which are present inside the entity, that is id name and price. And I'll add the Lombok data annotation which will create the getter setter and constructors for this class. So here in our controller, I'll add the return type as product and the parameter should be a request body which is the product DTO. Let's insert our product using a service method called addProduct. And pass the received product DTO as argument. Now let's create the service class. I'll name it as product service. I'll add the service annotation here. And I'll inject the dependency of product repository. I'm using the constructor injection here because this is a mandatory dependency for this class. Now I'll add the method add product here, whose return type will be product entity.
I'll specify the parameter as product DTO since we're passing it from controller. Here I'll create a new product object and set the values from product DTO into this object using all argument constructor. I'll call the repository method save to save this data into Elasticsearch cluster. And I'll add the return here. Now let's go back to our controller and inject the product service using constructor injection, as this is also a mandatory dependency for this class. Now I'll just return this product object by wrapping it into the response entity object. With this our post API is successfully created. Now let's test this API. For this I will be using Postman. Let's restart the application here. Our application has started now, so let's go back to the postman and create a request. Since our application is running on port 8080, so our URL will be localhost colon 8080. We have defined the endpoint on controller as product so we will add slash product here. And in post mapping we defined add as the endpoint so we will add slash add here too. Rest method will be post. And in body we will select raw data of type JSON. In the body I will add id field with value id 1, o, 1. Name field with value salt. And price field with value 20.0. Click on send to send the request. We have received 200 status code. This means data is successfully added to the Elasticsearch. Now let's verify it by hitting the Elasticsearch URL. As we know, the Elasticsearch is opened on port 9200, so we can call localhost colon 9200, slash the index name which is product, slash underscore search. And hit send. You can see that you have received a response from Elasticsearch. And here you can see the data which we just inserted from our post request. Now let's add one more product and check again. The request is successful hence the data is added. Let's hit the elastic search URL again. You can see, now we have two product here. With this our post API is completed. In the next video, we will see how we can create a get API to retrieve the data from Elasticsearch.